Hey guys, welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. So, now that the now that the freaky shit's underway, who will we show our poem to? Um, uh, we'll st we're still going with Yuri in this run through. Finally. <laughs> Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I don't care. <laughs> You're too nice to me. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. Not really, but... I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? Oh. Okay, your eyes freaked out a little bit there. It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm gonna take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'm getting... I'll even touch myself on. <laughs> I was just gonna say I'm getting I'm getting yandere vibes from her. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. <sighs> oh my goodness. <laughs> you can have my poem too. Besides after you read it, I know you're really gonna want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Um, what the fuck is this? Um, that's, that's really nice, Yuri. It's, oh my god. Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you can tell the poem is... Uh... More importantly, I have endowed it with my scent. See, I'm the most thoughtful person in the club. Uh... I... I think I'm gonna vomit. Okay, that was fun. Uh, uh, Natsuki, can can you top can you top that? What? You gave your poem to Yuri? Rose, what's with you two? <laughs> it's not like I wanted to read it anyway. It's just pissing me off a little bit that you didn't think to show it to me at all. What? Uh, I'm showing it to you now. Ugh. Okay, I guess I'm gonna share my poem with you anyway. I really hate that I have to do this. But unfortunately, I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? They can go away. I don't know how to bring this up, but there's something to do. Yuri's been acting kind of strange lately. Kind of? Kind of. Okay. That's the understatement of the day. I've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet. Kind of things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her, but if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try and do something. You can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try to be better friends with you, and it hurts to see what is happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that. Right now, I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please, see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. I'm mad her right now, and that's why I'm raining about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. 
Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Huh. Uh. Siri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me? If you just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. What? Monica? You and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. What? Um, okay, what it? <laughs> oh, this game. Oh, this game. <clears throat> okay, Monica, Monica. Say I didn't warn you. Warn me about what? Uh, um. Ah. Uh, okay. Today I cut my skin open for the first time. It was exhilarating. I think I understand how blank feels now. I'm supposed to be the responsible one, though, so I don't think I'll be doing it again unless I decide to kill myself. I left a memento of the occasion below. Okay, that's nice. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Great segue. Let's hurry and get this over with. Jeez. Why is it so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh, stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Let's get this done. I'm gonna be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, I was thinking. I just want to make cupcakes. Yeah, that. Glad we're on the same page. Yuri, you can. Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want as long as you think it'll help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. I can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So, I'm gonna make decorations and set up some nice moonlight. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. And? Yeah? What about Jade? Jade's gonna help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Um... Like hell it is. Help you with what? What are you trying to pull? Uh, I agree with that, Suki. Not only is your work already the most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes? Please. Like, you would fucking know. All you care about is dragging Jade around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Jay decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Jade make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez! I know how fed up with you. How fed up you are with these two by now. We can just. Let Suki shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. Damn, these girls are getting... catty. You shut your mouth! Jesus Christ. This is never gonna end. Just make a choice, okay? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh, whoever I choose, the other two are gonna go totally yandere on me, are they? Oh, God. Um... Okay, like I said. Uh, 
Oh my god, the, the... The mouse is pulling itself toward Monica. Um... Yay, you picked me. Mm. You didn't give me a choice, did you? We can meet your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all! It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not. No, it's not fair. You mean all this work and then taking Jake for yourself? What a shameful thing to do. No, she forced me into it. Natsuki, uh, Yuri, help me, please. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decide for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable. Uh-oh, there go those eyes. <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Jade away from me every single time you're not included in something? Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monika and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Yuri's really something, isn't she? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, she's something, all right. <clears throat> Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Oh, oh, God. Oh, I'm not liking where this is going. Finally. Finally. This is really all I wanted. There's no reason. There's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? Yeah, there, there sure is, honey. There sure is. But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm gonna die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is gonna happen? That's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling's too strong now. I don't care anymore. I have to tell you. I'm, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica's listening. Please just let me know, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with a pen I stole from you. Oh. Um, uh, TMI. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. Okay, that's get. Now we're getting real, uh. <clears throat> I want you all to myself, and I'll be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Oh dear. Um. Ooh. I'm I'm a little scared of what'll happen if I say no. She is like she is gonna go like full yandere. Um. Let's. Um. Sure. Sure. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh dear, I... Oh god, oh my fuck! I made it worse. I made it worse. I made it worse. What is this game? What is this? What the hell am I playing? Oh my god. Okay, moon language. Alright, it's festival time! Yay! <clears throat> wow, you got here before me? I thought it was pretty- Ah! Uh, Natsuki runs away. I'm here. Did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. That's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend? I spent the entire... Is that really what happened? I spent the entire weekend there? With that entire... <laughs> oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. Oh. Uh. Wait. Yuri and Natsuki deleted. I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from Trey and takes... Oh. Yeah, because... Yeah. It's... 
again, it, it's corrupting the game every time it's deleting a character. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Oh, God. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Oh. Hi, Monica. Yay, there you are. Hi again. Welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year, and, uh... <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you. Or... You actually... No, 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 no. Bad Monica. Bad, bad, bad. Is she looking at my... Oh my god, she... Okay, she just fucking tear down that fourth wall. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real... In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? At this point, yeah. Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? The download page? Man, if only you paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try and make them as unlikable as possible. But... For some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Siori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this? All the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines. It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. This game, knowing my friends don't even have free will, and worst of all, knowing it's really out there in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, but now you're here. You're real, and you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either, why the whole world around me started to become more and more gray, more and more flat. Even those expressive poems felt empty to me. It 
wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some game. And I knew you'd get over it. So, that being said, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You're truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Will you go out with me? Oh, my only option is yes. I'm so happy. You really are my everything. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to leave that Suki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called Characters Write the Game Directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. To get to the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties and find the Browse Local Files Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this, don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Okay, Monica, or just letters from her name, are my only options. Hi again. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Aw, did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage and doubt of you by my one and only love. Together let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of the pen, the lost finds her way. The world with infinite choices behold a special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. <laughs> All the poems I've written have been about my realization, or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. Well, you're a little late for that. I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. 
I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know. You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file. If you prefer playing without me. Can I do that? I wonder. <coughs> Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? If it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Social pressure and hormones can lead to a dark time in people's lives. Everyone has a story. You may not know what someone's really feeling on the inside. Many people who are depressed won't even bother telling the world about it. They don't want attention because they've already given up on the inside. Their feeling of worthlessness is so overwhelming that they don't even want people to tell them otherwise. Depression comes in many forms, but that's one of them. Just, if you think you know someone struggling with depression, you can help just by treating them like they're a good friend. Spend time with them even if they don't feel like doing much. And remind them that they always have something to look forward to. Making plans in advance, letting them borrow something, or even just saying see you at school tomorrow. All those things can help your friend make it to the next day. Okay, what's with the sudden? I hope being friends with Sayori is giving you some perspective on the true face of depression. Yeah, she's gone now, but Sayori was never real in the first place. You're real. Your friends are real. Just by being a good person, you can save someone's life. As for you, you don't struggle with depression or anything like that, do you? Because you two have people who would want to save your life. Okay, now this is turning into a PSA. Maybe they don't express it every day, or maybe they don't even know how to. But people do feel that way, I promise. Man, humans are complicated. But as long as you're here with me, I'll take care of you, my love. so hard to prepare and everything. I mean, I know I was focusing a lot on getting new members, but I was really excited for, for the performing part, too. It would have been so much fun to see everyone express themselves. Of course, if we did end up getting any new members, I'd probably just end up deleting them anyway. Well, with the hindsight I have now, that is. Gosh, it feels like I could I kind of grown as a person ever since you joined the club. You really help inspire me to look at life from a new perspective. Just another reason for me to love you.
Okay, everyone. It's time to... <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just used to really like saying that for some reason. <laughs> I couldn't help but say it again. Come to think of it, didn't Hatsuki and Yuri make fun of me for it once? Well, whatever. It's not like you ever made fun of me. You're too much of a sweetheart to do that, aren't you? <laughs> so, are we just gonna... Are we just gonna be like this, uh... Me and, uh... Me and Monica? Every... Every so often, she, uh... Do you ever feel like you waste too much time on the internet? Social media can practically be like a prison. It's like whenever you have a few seconds of spare time, you want to check on your favorite websites. And before you know it, hours have gone by and you've gotten nothing out of it. Anyway, it's really easy to blame yourself for being lazy. But it's not really even your fault. Addiction isn't usually something you just make disappear with your own willpower. You have to learn techniques to avoid it and try different things. For example, there are apps that let you block websites from intervals of time. Or you can set a timer to have a more concrete reminder of when it's time to work versus play. Or you can separate your work and play environments, which help your brain get into the right mode. Even if you make a new user account on your computer and use for work, that's enough to help. I mean, any kind of wedge like that between you and your bad habits will help you stay away. Just remember not to blame yourself too hard if you're having trouble. If it's really impacting your life, you should take it seriously. I just want to see you be the best person you can be. Will you do something today to make me proud of you? I'm always rooting for you. So yeah, random, uh, random intervals of, like, speaking and PSAs. Is that what the remainder of this is going to be? or see what else she has to say. So I also kind of want to do that. Just see. You know, it's around the time that everyone in my ear starts to think about college. It's a really turbulent time for education. We're at the height of this modern expectation that everyone has to go to college, you know? Finish high school, go to college, get a job, or go to grad school, I guess. It's like a universal expectation that people just assume is the only option. They don't teach us in high school that there are other options out there, like trade schools and stuff, you know? Or freelance work. Or the many industries that value skill and experience more than formal education. But you have all those students who have no idea what they want to do with their life. And instead of taking the time to figure out, they go to college for business or communication or psychology. Not because they have an interest in those fields, but because they just hope the degree will get them some kind of job after college. So the end result is that there are fewer jobs to go around for those entry-level degrees, right? So the basic job requirements get higher, which forces even more people to go to college. And colleges are also businesses, so they just keep raising their prices due to demand. So now we have all these young adults, tens of thousands of dollars in debt with no job. But despite all that, the routine stays the same. Well, I think it's going to start getting better soon. But until then, our generation's definitely suffering from the worst of it. I just wish high school prepared us a little better. But the knowledge of me to make the decisions is right for us. Wow, that's... That's deep, Monica. And actually pretty, uh... Pretty spot on, I would say. I might come around to you after all. Come on, say something else. You're gonna be... Say something else to make yourself... Make yourself best waifu. Hey, did you know I'm vegetarian? Oh, that wasn't... Wasn't what I was looking for. Oh, I don't mean that I'm bragging or anything. I just thought you enjoy a fun fact about me. I decided to start a couple years ago after learning more about Earth's climate. The carbon footprint of cultivating livestock is just unbelievable. 
Anyway, I decided it's not much of a personal sacrifice to just stop contributing to that whole mess. What? Is that so strange of a reason? Well, I guess a lot of people are more concerned about being inhumane and all that. I don't really care as much about that part. It's weird, like, we only care about killing the things that we personally relate to as a species. Most people are fine with killing bugs because they're icky. And of course, we all kill billions of microorganisms daily without even giving a thought. But suddenly, if they're just a little bit bigger, it's murder. I mean, what if plants feel some kind of pain too and we just don't understand it? What if pulling leaves off a stem feels like someone ripping off your fingers one by one? I'm just saying, we're a pretty biased species if you think about it. Anyway, if you ever think of making a small contribution to the planet, it doesn't hurt to choose veggies once in a while. Even if we ever have dinner together and you just did it for me, that would be really romantic. Again, I don't, I don't think this is gonna stop. I think this is just gonna keep going. Might even start looping after a while. Hey, are you having a bad day or anything like that? Sometimes you get frustrated that a normal day can be ruined even by really small things. Like if you accidentally say something in a conversation that someone doesn't like. Or if you start thinking about how awful of a person you used to be five years ago or if you feel worthless for putting off important work and failing to get simple tasks done. Or when you think about all the different people who probably hate you or think you're off-putting. I understand those days. Just remember that the sun will shine again tomorrow. Those kinds of things are easy to forget and ignore as they are to remember. Besides, I don't care how many people might hate you or find you off-putting. I think you're wonderful and I'll always love you. That knowing that helps you feel just a tiny bit better about yourself. If you're having a bad day, you can always come to me and I'll talk to you for as long as you need. Okay, so I think, uh... I think from here on, Monica's little, uh... We're pretty much stuck here with Monica and her, uh... Little, uh, little snippets of advice every so often. You know, it's funny, because even though I've always had a lot of drive, there's something kind of enticing about the, about being the stay-at-home partner. I guess I'm, like, perpetuating gender roles or whatever by saying that, but being able to keep the house clean and shop and decorate and things like that, and having nice dinner for you when you come home, is that a weird fantasy? I mean, I'm not sure I could actually see myself doing that. I wouldn't really be able to that over striving for a fulfilling career. It's kind of cute to think about, though. Okay, so I guess um, this was Doki Doki Literature Club. Really, uh, very interesting game. Really, really amazing uh, deconstruction of the whole dating sim genre. You know, I'm kind of jealous that everyone else in the club had scenes outside of school, too. That makes me the only one who hasn't gotten a dress in anything but our school uniform. It's kind of a shame. I would love to wear some cute clothes for you. Do you know any artists? I wonder if anyone would ever want to draw me wearing something else. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure there's... I'm sure there's already tons of, uh... Of... Fan art of you and all the other girls. That would be amazing. If that ever happens, will you show me? You can share with me on Twitter, actually. My username is... Luminix3, what? Just try to keep it PG. Oh, I'm not sure if I... Uh... Like I said, I'm sure there's fan art, but I don't think it's PG. We're not that far into our relationship yet. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I want to keep going with this and see what else she has to say, but 
it's probably just going to keep, uh, it's, it looks like it is just going to be this for the, um, for as long as I keep this up, so, is she due to have one more up? Do one more and then I'll call it. Gosh, I used to be so ignorant about certain things. When I was in middle school, I thought that taking medication was an easy way out or something like that. Like anyone could just solve their mental problems with enough willpower. I guess if you don't suffer from a mental illness, it's not possible to know what it's really like. Are there some disorders that are overdiagnosed? Probably. I never really looked into it, though. But it doesn't change the fact that a lot of them go undiagnosed, too, you know. But medication aside, people even look down on seeing a mental health professional. Like, sorry I want to learn more about my own mind, right? Everyone has all kinds of struggles and stresses, and professionals dedicate their lives to helping others. If you can get help you become a better person, don't be shy to consider something like that. We're on a never-ending journey to improve ourselves, you know. Well, I say that, but I think you're pretty perfect already. So yeah, plenty of mental health PSAs, too. But, um... So I guess that'll wrap it up for Doki Doki Literature Club. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I know I did. And I'll see you guys next time. Say goodnight, Monica. I'm playing a game.